Today, we're going to be testing out DeepSeek Artifacts, which is based on DeepSeek version 3, as far as I know. And basically, what we're using is a free artifact creator to code, to create content, to create websites, to create apps in literally seconds. I've tested it out today, and it is absolutely mind-blowing. So let's get straight into it. You don't need to log in. You don't need to create an, uh, an account. It doesn't seem like there's any sort of premium pricing right here. So we're just going to get straight into it. And if I say, for example, create a dad's jokes keyboard. So what it's going to do is start going off and creating the code. So we've got the file names of the project right here. We've got the app CSS, the index HTML and the app TSX. And it's just going off and creating the code. As you can see right here, we've got the jokes inside the text right there. And then we've actually generated this in literally seconds. So we've got our app ready to go. So for example, if we click on joke one, it works perfectly. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. Great dad joke right there. Why did the math book look sad? Because it had too many problems. And so it's amazing. It's amazing. The things you can do with technology these days. And so now we're going to click on open the sandbox and we actually get a sandbox version of the project right here. Now, this is very similar to Lovable or Bolt.new or even Claude Artifacts. But the thing here is it's completely free. It works pretty much every time I use it. You can actually sandbox the project so you can edit it on Vercel, as you can see right here. So you can edit the code as you want to. And you don't need to create an account or log in or anything like that. Like you could probably just open this up on your phone and then start creating apps and SaaS tools on the go. And then if you want to download it, you can. Right. So for example, if we go, so you can edit the code, if you want to, you can actually create a repository right here. So you can sandbox it out right there on GitHub if you want to, once you've logged into for sale, but yeah, pretty amazing stuff. Completely next level that you can just do this in seconds. Let's try another thing now. Now let's test out in the context of SEO and we can run through some use cases, how you can use it for your website, etc. So I'm going to take this prompt right here. We'll plug that directly into artifacts. As you can see, what I like about it is it's just super neat and tidy and there's no messing around here, right? For example, when you build these projects, sometimes with bolt.new and these other sort of APIs, the biggest issue is that it quite often breaks and you have to go back and forth with it. Whereas from the two tests I've done so far in this, like it just works first time around. It's beautiful. Like you see right here, you've got your blog built literally in seconds, no messing around there and it's straight off to the bat and it's customized to me, my website, etc. Like I say, if you want to create a bigger website or you want to build out more, you can open up the sandbox and you live in the dream. You can also share that with people. So if you copy the link, you can create like a shareable link right there. And if we go to file and then save as, you can just save it, right? So you can save it locally or you can just download it. So you can hit download and download that as a project right there. So you can see all the project files that we just downloaded literally in seconds for free. Then you can host it locally, edit it how you want to. You've got it all backed up. And that was nice and simple. Let's test it out on another prompt right now. So we're going to say, create a beautifully designed SEO calculator, SEO optimized for the keyword of actual content on page two, keyword equals, and then link to this throughout. Change the brand colors to mine, add more content on the page. So we'll see what that does. We're going to plug that in. And what's wild about this is it just, it works. No messing around. Like it doesn't break. It doesn't mess up, et cetera. Let's test out Lovable which, and Bolt, which are both paid tools. They both have premium pricing involved. So for example, if we say the same prompt that we used previously, there we go. Now this one, it doesn't seem to have done so well. So you can see here actually, just something to be aware of is there's actually content on the page, but the brand colors aren't right. So it hasn't done it perfectly right there. Just being hundred percent transparent with you. Let's try another one. So I'm going to take this example right here, plug it in. And you can see, for example, like Lovable, which you can create like one project for free and then you have to pay. On Lovable, it's not worked at all. So that first prompt that worked perfectly on DeepSeek version three, on that, you can see here, Lovable, we use exactly the same prompt that we used previously on DeepSeek Artifacts. This is a premium tool. This is a completely free tool that we don't have to sign in on. And the premium tool, Lovable, that you can pay for, doesn't work. But the tool that was coded with DeepSeek works like first. DeepSeek is, is not let me down like once. Seems to just work every time pretty much. And the, the same for Bolt as well. If you've seen any of my other videos, I talk about some of the errors that come up inside Bolt. But inside DeepSeek Artifacts, 
seems to work really well. Now, this is a brand new tool. So you can see this was announced by Caleb, who said, who basically said, let the most powerful open model in the world create landing pages for you. Powered by DeepSeek version three, very strong React and Tailwind ability. That is absolutely true. The other thing is, it's really fast to respond. So let me show you some SEO use cases here as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to try and create some content using this prompt. We'll run through it in a second. I'll show you how we used it. And I'm just going to put here keyword equals what is SEO, just as a totally random example. And then we'll insert the prompt for writing and creating the content. Now it's going to create a landing page, but you can still leverage the AI to create the content and then also design it nicely on the page too. So we'll wait for that to load. It's going off and doing its thing. Let me talk you through the prompt here and how we generated it. So basically what we're saying here is for writing the actual content, use this, easy to read, conversational, aim for about a thousand words. Keyword in the first line, last line, keep it fresh, real, et cetera. Simplify the content and then also avoid these negative AI words that are kind of like a red flag to show that your content do not use these words because obviously a lot of this stuff is just obviously AI generated. So if we come back to the response right here, we have the content. It's written the article step-by-step, -step, nicely SEO optimized. Content itself doesn't read too badly at all. I wouldn't say it's perfect. I'd still use Claude. But for generating content quickly, based on your keywords, that is not too bad at all. And you could easily build out a landing page or website based on that. Let's test out another prompt. So I'm going to go back to DeepSeek. We'll plug this in. Basically, what we've said here is create a one page website for a tool about free SEO analyzer tool, insert the keyword, embed the tool after page, after paragraph one, then insert some content on how to use it, etc. include some FAQs and have a pop up advertising this page. Then write in first person. The content is Julian Goldie in simple first grade language. It's building out the page. We've got the pop-up right there. We'll close that. And then you can see it's generated the tool. So we've got the tool right there under the first paragraph, as we asked it to do. It's optimized the page for our keywords. So we've got free SEO analyzer tool in the top there, in the title, in the first paragraph as well. And that's ready to go. And if we open up the sandbox, we've got everything right there. Now you might be wondering, okay, how do you actually deploy it? Now, if you want to deploy this as well, you can just download the project files and then host it on Netlify. That's pretty simple and easy to do. Just go to file. Let's see if we can actually create a keyword research tool. So I'm going to grab this. So then we're going to go over and ask it to create the keyword research tool. Whilst we're waiting for the code to generate, let me talk you through it. So we'll basically say create a keyword research tool, drop down box to select the preferred AI model, ask them what the niche is, then have a button to start the keyword research and just find and go off and do this, right? And that's coding the tool, as you can see. Like you can see, there's so many different use cases for this. You can create apps, websites, landing pages, EMDs. You can create your own tools, SaaS products. Like, it's just endless what you can do with this. And the other crazy thing is it just works first time. So we've plugged in the API key for Gemini. We've plugged in the niche. And then it's gone off and worked its magic, right? So we've got keywords, for example, e-commerce, SEO email marketing strategies, content marketing tips, like it's clustered the keywords into relevant clusters as well. Word first time, and then you can just go off and create your own AI tools, right? Custom build for whatever you want. One thing I would say with all of this, I'm just going to delete that API key, is if it's free, it's probably using your data in some way, right? So just something to be aware of there. But if you don't mind sharing any data that you're creating tools around, etc., then this is a super powerful way to create different websites, landing pages, apps, etc., without spending any money, without paying for any tools. You can easily get the project files and then download them, etc. So pretty amazing. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all of the prompts, loads of different use cases, you can see there's 29 pages of prompts inside this document. You can get that inside my free SEO course, link in the comments and description. If you just go to the free SEO tool section and then deep seek artifacts, you'll find the video notes in the description. Additionally, if you wanna check out my free SEO course, it comes with over 205 different lessons inside this. So pretty much everything you can ever imagine. It's better than most paid courses. It's got so many different tutorials, free tools, free tips, community of 2,700 SEOs as well that you can ask for help. So it's absolutely amazing what you can get in there. Feel free to get it, link in the comments in the description. And if you wanna get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to put that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 this month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions you have one-to-one, -one, and you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website so that you can get more leads, traffic, and sales and profits from your site. Additionally, you'll learn how to outrank your competitors and how to 10x SEO traffic 
based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.